Hello, wonderful God's loving people. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is your brother Victor bringing the wonderful greetings of Jesus Christ to you. Our today's reading is taken from Colossians chapter 3, verse 1 to 3. And it says, If then you will be raised with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ is sitting at the right hand of God. Set your mind on the things above, not on the things on the earth. For you died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. Praise God. This Bible is telling us that if you are sure you are born again, that is accepting Jesus Christ as a personal Savior. If you are sure that you are a child of God, if you are sure that you are raised with Jesus Christ when he died, remember the word of God said that he died and he was raised on the third day. If we believe all those things and we accept Jesus Christ as our personal Savior, Bible is telling us that we should set our gaze, our mind on the things above. Where Jesus Christ is sitting right now in the right hand of God with you. Because you, your life is hidden in Christ Jesus. And Christ Jesus is hidden in God. This is a very big verse. The problem we are having that all our mind, the thing we are setting our mind is not on the things above. We are so consigned and, you know, engulfed in the things of this life, our everyday lives, that at times we forget the things of above. You know, let the things above be the number one thing in your life. Remember that he said that he has already blessed us with all the spiritual blessings in the heavenly places. So, all those things you are fighting for, God has already done it for, for, for you. What of God said that you should put the kingdom of God first. Any other thing shall be added unto you. All this struggle we are struggling, God has already added for us. All we have to know how to be able to use our faith to get it, to receive it from heaven and bring it in our everyday life. But now you have already been born again. The Bible says that you should set your mind on the things above. You know, that's why he said that you should come boldly into the throne room of grace to get what you want. Everything that we are doing above is you know, focusing on the things above. Remember in one chapter, it said in the new Jerusalem, you are now living in the new Jerusalem, in the city of the Most High God, where Jesus Christ dwells, where the angels dwell. This is the city of God itself. That is the thing you have to understand. Understand that God, you are sitting with Christ at this moment, even though you are still living in this world, but you are sitting with Christ, with Jesus, in heavenly places, with God. It's a wonderful thing to know. Once you start, you know, having this consciousness in you, devil will have no place in you. And you don't need to be a perfect person to sit there. You are sitting there because of what God has done for you. Because of the grace you believe and you confess and you become the child of God. The rest story is we all Holy Ghost will lead you and teach you and move, you know, lead you in the way as you renew your mind. Remember we told, what you told us in, in Romans chapter 12. He said, renew your mind. Present yourself as a living sacrifice by the renewing of your mind. This is what we have to do every day by studying the word of God, by looking into the word of God. Then the Holy Ghost will take you on a journey by giving you understanding on the word of God. Remember, the Bible said that in all you are getting, get understanding also. So how do you get understanding? You get understanding when you study the word of God day in, day out. When you eat from the bread of heaven. When you eat from the spiritual bread. As you feed your body every day, you should also supposed to be feeding your spiritual life, body, your, your, your spiritual heart, mindset, every day with the word of God. And as you do so every day, it will be easy for you to focus on the things of heaven. Where you sit right now at this moment with Christ. It's not when you die. As you are living in this world, you are sitting with Christ. That's why every promise is promising. You have to know how to read the word of God and bring it to your daily life. There is many things you have to know. And remember that, that anything that can touch you, must first of all, touch Jesus Christ before getting to you. Learn how to use what you have. Learn how to renew your consciousness to understand where you are right now. You are hidden in Christ Jesus. So sickness is not supposed to be part of you. Although sickness might come, problem might come, but when you yield yourself in the word of God, 
You will confess the word of God. And at the end of the day, you will be a victor. I hope I have blessed someone today. And I'm praying that Holy Ghost will lead you for you to know how to focus that on the things of heaven so that you can be able to have a wonderful life here. I hope I have blessed someone today. And may good God continue to bless you as you continue to watch my YouTube channel. Watch and share. And once you share my channel also, you also taking part in preaching the word of God. May God bless you and your family. Until next time I look again, may Almighty God continue to guide you. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. For my side now is bad.